What's going on guys? Today I'm going to talk about why I am not a fan of the syndication model for beginners. Let me explain. So most people want to do syndication because they have no money, no experience, and believe it's very easy to raise money. I mean, how appealing is it to say, hey, I have no money, no experience, but I heard it was easy to raise hundreds of millions of dollars for my friends and family to buy a lot of apartment complexes. Sounds very easy, right? I get approached by so many beginners who generically will tell me, Steven, I have no real estate experience, but I want to buy apartment complexes at 50 plus units. And I know they probably generically heard it on a webinar somewhere. And they know if they say 50 plus, because at that point you have the economies of scale and you can make it less risky and afford a syndication model, right? Between the 1% acquisition fee, 1% disposition fee and the asset management fee, right? So once I know that I knew right away that number one, they're beginner and number two, they want to syndicate. So let me share why. So I have to, unfortunately have to break it to you, but this is the reality, right? Lenders and bankers do not want to lend to you because you have no track record, right? And it, for apartment complex investing, this is the hardest part, right? Even I went through the struggle starting off, like lenders and banks will not give you money without a track record, right? Number two is brokers will not even bring you deals since you have no track record. If you have no history of closing, why don't they bring you a deal as a beginner when they have other investors who are a lot more experienced of, of a bigger track record, right? So that's just the truth, right? And I guess, fortunately, brokers have never brought me a good deal to date. So that may not even be that big of a deal. And also, next question to ask is, why would an investor give you money? If there are way more experienced uh, syndicators like me personally, I've been doing apartment complexes for five years. And if I was a syndicator, I wouldn't give me money. And the reason for that is I've only been investing during uh, you know, 2017 till today when the housing market's been doing great. But I want to invest in somebody who's been through multiple cycles, right? Been 2008, 2000s, 90s, whatever, right? I, I would invest in a syndicator that's been around for 30 years and they have a large track record and have been through multiple cycles. A lot of syndicators that you see on forums that, you know, maybe have 100, 200 units, they're just starting off. And honestly, the market was so hot, you could have bought it, you know, poorly, managed it poorly, but just due to natural appreciation, you still would have made money, but doesn't mean they're a good operator, right? So during a recession, we can see who the good operators actually are. And it's usually people with a track record and who've been around for a long time, right? So that's kind of my personal opinion. Why would I give a brand new investor a hundred thousand dollars when I have, when they have no experience and no track record, right? So it's, it's, it's not that easy, right? You just can't say, Hey, I'm, I want to be a syndicator because I want to, um, you know, basically use other people's money, OPM, to scale large real estate portfolio. It's not that simple. And another reason is that it's actually more stressful to manage other people's money than, than it is to manage your own. Like, how can I build trust to invest $100,000 of you if you can't even afford an apartment complex yourself? Like, why would I feel comfortable giving you any of my money if I can manage my money better than you, right? So this is what you have to go through, right? And w where's your skin in the game? Like, oh, like I just lost half a million dollars of other people's money. It's not my money, whatever, right? Like where, where's your skin in the game? So you have to make sure you have skin in the game with a good track record. And like I said, back to my original point, if you can't manage your own money well, and what I mean is that if you cannot even save up enough money to buy your own apartment complex, you have no business no business whatsoever managing other people's money from friends, family, and relatives. Like would, would you trust a, a friend, family, or relative that's doing their first syndication deal? Like, do you want to be their guinea pig and use their, use your money? They're going to use your money and learn from it. Like, I don't want to lose my money to help someone learn, right? I want them to already have that experience, right? So to me, People use the excuse of, I don't have money. I can't save 200, 200, $300,000. I get it. It's hard, but a syndication model is also hard as well, right? If, if you can't even save up 200, $300,000 of your own money 
to buy your own apartment complex, you have no business being a syndicator. Um, and the so so kind of you know sorry if I came off kind of harsh there, and the reason for it is it's tough love. And like I said, being a syndicator is actually harder than investing for yourself because once other people's money's on the line, that's when things get nasty. Like imagine if you borrowed three hundred thousand dollars from your aunt and you lost all of her money. Like how awkward is that Thanksgiving Christmas dinner going to be every year, right? You're, you're not going to be the most favorite uh, relative on the list. So here's my suggestion for beginners wanting to get into multifamily and apartment complexes with no money. So the first step I would recommend is join a mentorship group, do a course and surround yourself with like-minded individuals that follow a proven system. So you can check out my course if you're interested, if you like my teaching style, it's making multifamily money. The link is down below, but I basically make multifamily investing very simple and I create a system that you just follow. And if you follow it, you will get an apartment complex in six to 12 months off market. So once again, check out the link down below. I don't want to talk more about it. Um, the next is to learn to generate off market leads, right? I love doing direct mailing. And because of that, I offer a direct mailing service once again, link down below. It's part of the course where it targets mom and pop owners who are motivated. It typically takes about six to 12 months of consistently sending out letters. You get your first deal, right? So I sent out 1800 letters. I got two apartment complexes in six months. So I've done it. I've proven it. And now I'm helping my students do that and other investors do that. Right. And why do you want off market deals? Once again, Brokers, you have no track record. Brokers won't bring you deals. Number two, Loopnet has terrible deals. They're all overpriced. And number three is if you truly want, you know, creative financing or to buy a apartment complex under market value, you're going to have to learn and master how to generate off market leads. <laughs> so after that, you need to build a down payment of at least 250 to $300,000. That's why a lot of people like doing syndication because they don't have $300,000 just sitting around, right? It's hard. It's hard to build $300,000. You know, I did it by working full time, right? Luckily I have a high income W2 job so I can do it. But now let's talk about the strategy of building your down payment of $300,000 to buy a million dollar apartment complex. And for those of you who don't believe me, I have a 26 unit for half a million, a 20 unit for $350,000. So you can buy an apartment complex for under a million dollars. And I am proof, right? I am proof. So if you don't have a down payment of $250,000, I recommend you to start wholesaling apartment complexes that you get under contract until you build your down payment, or you can partner with an operator who's more experienced, right? So what's nice about getting off market leads is you can lock in at a great price and it's very easy to wholesale it once you locked in a great price. And let me share an example of my 26 unit. I got that for half a million dollars at the tax assessed price. When I got appraised by Bank of the West, my lender, it appraised at $750,000 day one. I could have easily wholesaled my 26 unit apartment complex for $750,000 and I would have made a $250,000 wholesale assignment fee. And right there, I have my down payment for my next apartment complex. So just one deal that you get, one deal, you can wholesale it. You can get your down payment for your next apartment complex that you own yourself, right? So this is the, the path I recommend. Sometimes if you, let's say you make a hundred thousand dollars through wholesale, then you wholesale three apartment complexes until you save up $300,000. And by then if you wholesale three apartment complexes and made a hundred thousand dollars each at that point, you're probably pretty good at evaluating apartment complexes. So you'll easily find the fourth one that you'll own for yourself, right? So now that you have, your 250 K down payment, you want to generate off market leads through your direct mailers. And once again, I can do it for you to automate it for you. Um, and once you get your first deal, you want to complete a full burst cycle on your first apartment complex. It takes about three years um, to do that. So you have to buy it right. So you buy it under market value, you get equity day one. Number two is you execute a value add strategy through renovations. Right. So you're going to renovate the kitchen, the flooring, the bathroom, and that'll help you raise the rents by $100, $200 each. You want to stabilize that new 
uh, NOI because you raise the rents, your NOI is going to be higher. Stabilize that for six to 12 months. Then you present that to a lender at a higher uh, ARV. And then you pull out, you do a cash out refinance tax free. So you get your down payment back, you get your renovation costs back, and maybe you can make a little extra money on top tax free. So that took you three years to do that, right? So let's just say it took you three years to stabilize your first apartment complex and it took you, um, let's just say two years to wholesale uh, three apartments to build up your down payment. So now you're in for five years. At that point, you can continue to buy apartment complexes yourself, or at this point, you can now go down the syndication route because what do you have? You have a track record. What did you do? You wholesale three apartment complexes and you did a full cycle burr on your own apartment complex, that's four. So now you have a track record to present to your friends and family of raising money, to present to a lender, and to present to brokers to show that you have a track record. So if you want to syndicate, this is the route that I recommend. You want to learn to wholesale deals to build up a down payment. And once you have your down payment, you want to complete at least one full cycle burn in your own apartment complex before investing money. At that point, I will confidently say that I believe you can syndicate apartment complexes. So yes, it sucks. Yes, it's inconvenient. And it may take about 10 years, but anything good is never easy. So I, that's why I know a lot of beginners approach me when they say that I want to, I have zero experience and I want to start syndicating. They think it's easy and fast and instant gratification. But that's not the case. So hopefully you found value in this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Put a comment down below as to how you will implement this model uh, to become a syndicator if that's your path. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.